Hello, thank you for uh, watching Smash 64 Top 8. I'm Shears, and I have with me Super Boom Fan. Hello. Uh, tell us a little bit about the tournament and how you felt it went for the first shine. Well, pretty good uh, tournament so far. Well, it ended for us, but you know, <laughs> there's still Top 8 for other games. But no, it was good. Uh, nice and air-conditioned, uh, unlike you know previous ones. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so it was, a, it was a mess. But um, okay, so. You took that pretty convincingly. I mean, the three O's, and um, what did you think of the talent here? This was a tournament that was actually larger than Pound as far as entrance goes, right. but it's noticed like noticeably had a lot, a lot less depth and talent. Uh, so, what do you, what are your thoughts on how the community's grown to a point where we're having hundred entrance tournaments now, and we don't even need all the top players in, in attendance? Yeah, that's it's really surprising, really. Um, before a few years ago, what kind of scenes were there? Nothing. Did LA even exist back then? No. Yeah, see. So yeah. now it's everything's grown up, so it's, it's kind of cool. Um, you played uh, Isaiah back at SmashCon. Uh, we didn't get an interview with you um, after that stream because there was no time, but we wanted right. to know uh, what was it like taking that game, while the set off Isaiah in tournament, if you thought if he stayed Pika, things would have been differently. At SmashCon? At SmashCon. <laughs> you know, I think uh, he was afraid to face Falcon again. As Pika, if we, do you th he thinks you would have adapt, adapted. Yeah, I talked to him. I was just like, "Oh, you don't want to play against Falcon?" He's like, "Oh, I'm scared." <laughs> but uh, no, he just went straight to DK. Well, jokingly, I came into the set and I was like, "Oh, DK did this." Yeah. Was like, haha, whatever. <laughs> Seems you always do those <laughs> DK did those. But yeah, it's just after the serious match, he just went to DK. I'm like, "Oh, whatever. I'll just go DK too. Might as well have some fun." That's good. Um, the, I, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah, just what was it like to play Isaiah again and, 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 oh. and have the win on him on the big stage and, um, you know, how he saw his peak up for, like, you know, the first time uh, in, a, in a while. Uh, so it was, like, just an interesting thing. We wanted to get your thoughts on that. Okay. Oh, yeah. His, his Pikachu, unique Pikachu. Like, no other Pikachu plays like him. He's a combination of everything around the world, Japan, <laughs> Peru, and North America. Well, he's, he's been all those places and played with all those yeah. people, so... He's definitely he's he's a, he's a legacy player. He's making a comeback, um, but he has a he has a long history as being like the biggest player. And for years he's been playing and, and traveling the world uh, for Smash. A lot of people know him from Melee. So, um, Gamer, I don't know. What else to say. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut it. Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching, everyone.